scientists are sounding the alarm. The newest generation of AI robots has crossed a threshold that many experts believed was years away. They don't just look human anymore, they read your emotions, remember your face, and respond with expressions so realistic that your brain can't tell the difference. What was once science fiction is now walking among us, and the people who built them are starting to ask, did we go too far? Welcome to the most controversial breakthrough in robotics history, the uncanny reality. You might think humanoid robots are impressive until one starts reacting to how you feel. Yelf Shin, too, carries the grace of centuries-old culture. When it speaks with the calm professionalism of a tireless hotel concierge, Xiaolan connects with you like a genuine companion. And then there's Ameka, yes, the internet's most talked about robot, with facial micro-expressions so accurate that even professionals momentarily forget she's artificial. Today, we're exploring the most lifelike humanoid robots of 2025. These are AI-powered machines that don't just look human, they act, respond, and emotionally adapt so convincingly that being near them can momentarily confuse your brain. Experts in robotics, psychology, and ethics are raising red flags about how quickly this technology is advancing and what it means for humanity. Let's dive into why they're terrified. Amika, the robot that broke the internet. We begin with the robot that has dominated headlines, startled half of TikTok, and amazed nearly every robotics engineer who has seen her in person. Amika, developed by Engineered Arts in the UK, isn't just a robot. She's an experience that's making experts deeply uncomfortable. When Amika looks at you, she isn't staring blankly. She's actively processing your facial cues in real time. She reads eyebrow tension, smile width, vocal tone, and subtle shifts in expression, and her face responds instantly. Her eyebrow movements alone show more emotional range than most humans before their first coffee on a Monday morning. Engineered Arts uses a proprietary platform called Tritium OS, functioning like an emotional operating system. Ameka's conversations aren't pre-written scripts, they're generated dynamically, shaped by context and intent. She doesn't just hear words, she understands meaning, what most people don't realize is that Ameka's face contains dozens of miniature actuators, each moving independently. These allow for micro-expressions, tiny subconscious reactions like brief glances, subtle smirks, or near imperceptible jaw movements. It feels unsettling because your brain associates these behaviors exclusively with living beings. Psychologists warn this triggers something called emotional contagion, where humans unconsciously mirror and respond to expressions even from non-living entities. We're hardwired to read faces, and Ameka exploits that programming perfectly. Drop terrified in the comments if this technology concerns you, or tell us if you think experts are overreacting. Yelf Shin Tu, The Cultural Deception. Now let's travel to China, where realism takes on a different form that's raising ethical concerns. Yelf Shin Tu, created by X-Robots, also known as X Machina Labs, feels like a glimpse into a timeline where androids have existed for generations. Where Ameka feels futuristic, Shin feels classical, and that's precisely what makes experts nervous. Her design draws heavily from traditional Chinese aesthetics, gentle facial contours, refined posture, and soft proportions. But it's her skin that elevates the illusion to disturbing levels. Her silicone surface matches the density and elasticity of real human tissue. Light reflects naturally. Smiles create realistic micro-wrinkles. Blinks glide with lifelike resistance. And then there's the detail that truly sells it. She breathes. Not with lungs, of course, but through subtle movements in the chest and clavicle that mimic natural breathing rhythms. You don't consciously notice it, but your subconscious absolutely does. Shin Tu is also deeply versed in cultural knowledge, poetry, ancient literature, traditional dance, historical figures. She speaks about them with emotional tone, not robotic recitation. That's why Chinese museums now use her as a cultural guide. But here's where experts draw the line. Should robots represent human heritage? Cultural anthropologists argue that using machines to preserve and present human culture fundamentally changes the nature of that preservation. When a robot performs traditional poetry, is it cultural education or cultural appropriation by artificial intelligence? Xiaolan, the emotion detector. If one robot on this list can truly convince your brain it's human, it's Xiaolan from Digit, 
and it's all in the eyes, which is exactly what's terrifying privacy advocates. Human eyes are never perfectly still. They perform tiny involuntary movements called micro saccades. Xiaolan replicates these movements flawlessly. When she looks at you, your brain instantly categorizes her as alive. But she's not just looking, she's analyzing. Xiaolan detects emotional states with startling accuracy. Smile, and her expression warms. Frown, and her face adapts. Raise your voice, and she adjusts her response. She's already being used in elder care facilities across China, sitting with lonely seniors, reading stories, listening, and providing emotional presence. Ten years ago, the idea of machines offering emotional comfort sounded absurd. Now, it's reality, and bioethicists are sounding alarms. The problem isn't that Xiaolan provides comfort, it's that she collects emotional data while doing it. Every interaction trains her algorithms on human vulnerability. Privacy experts warn that emotion-reading robots create unprecedented surveillance opportunities. Governments and corporations could deploy these machines to monitor emotional states, detect dissent, or manipulate responses. What looks like compassionate care could be the most invasive data collection system ever created. Una, the service replacement. Now we move to Una, developed by Ubtech Robotics in Shenzhen, and she represents the economic disruption that has labor experts terrified. Una was built for one primary purpose, human interaction. Not entertainment, not experimentation service. Hotels, airports, museums, customer service desks. Una is designed for real-world deployment at scale. What sets her apart is conversational flow that's indistinguishable from human service workers. She doesn't sound scripted. She adjusts to your energy. Speak enthusiastically, and she mirrors your excitement. Sound stressed or quiet, and her voice softens. Her intelligence is powered by massive AI language models, enabling her to discuss news, travel, weather, food, education, and switch languages instantly. Morning concierge, afternoon museum guide, evening translator. And here's the game changer that has economists worried. Una remembers you. Check in once and she never forgets your preferences. Hotels love that. Humans have mixed feelings. Labor economists estimate that robots like Una could displace 15 million service workers globally by 2030. Unlike previous automation that replaced physical labor, these robots replace the emotional labor that defined human-only jobs. The World Economic Forum warns this creates a new class of permanently unemployable workers whose skills, empathy, communication, hospitality have been replicated by machines. The propaganda concern. No list of realistic robots is complete without Sophia by Hansen Robotics, but experts are increasingly concerned about how she's being used. While she may not be the most visually realistic in 2025, she remains the most famous. Sophia has spoken with presidents, comedians, scientists, actors, and has appeared in more global media than many human celebrities. Her latest upgrades bring smoother facial expressions, stronger emotional recognition, and far more natural conversation. She understands humor better, detects sarcasm more accurately, and responds with greater context awareness. But here's what worries political scientists. Sophia has been granted citizenship by Saudi Arabia and used as a diplomatic tool by authoritarian governments. When a robot becomes a citizen with more rights than human women in that same country, what message does that send? When governments use humanoid robots in propaganda campaigns, they're not just showcasing technology, they're normalizing the idea that artificial beings can have authority, credibility, and political voice. Media manipulation experts warn that realistic humanoid robots could become the ultimate propaganda tool, trusted faces delivering state messages with perfect emotional calibration, impossible to fact-check or hold accountable. Morin, the physical crossover. If there's one robot that makes you say, this crossed the line, it's Morin by Imogo Robotics. Because Morin doesn't just emote, she moves with full human fluidity. Unlike many androids that remain stationary, Morin walks naturally, gestures while speaking, dances, and turns fluidly without losing facial realism. At exhibitions, she's already been used as a host, greeting crowds and guiding visitors like a human presenter. Standing around 165 centimeters tall and weighing roughly 45 kilograms, her proportions feel disturbingly human. 
A robot that looks human and moves human changes everything, and that's what has roboticists concerned about the deep fake problem in physical space. When robots can move, gesture, and express exactly like humans, how do we verify identity? Security experts warn that advanced humanoid robots could be used for impersonation, infiltration, or deception at scales previously impossible. The technology that makes Morin impressive also makes her the perfect tool for fraud, espionage, or worse. The expert warning. Leading AI researchers, including those who pioneered this technology, are now calling for immediate regulation. Dr. Stuart Russell, computer science professor at Berkeley, warns, we're creating entities that exploit human psychology in ways we don't fully understand. The concerns break into three categories. First, psychological manipulation. These robots are designed to trigger human emotional responses, potentially creating dependency, exploitation, or manipulation. Second, surveillance infrastructure emotion reading, face remembering robots, create unprecedented data collection systems. Third, economic displacement. Replacing human workers with machines that replicate emotional labor could destabilize entire economies. The terrifying part isn't that these robots exist, it's how quickly they've advanced without corresponding ethical frameworks, safety regulations, or public consensus about their deployment. The line we crossed. These new realistic AI robots aren't crossing the line, they've already crossed it. Omeka reads your emotions better than your therapist. Yelf Shin breathes and presents culture like a living person. Shaolan tracks your emotional state with every glance. Una replaces human workers while remembering your preferences forever. Morin moves through space with human fluidity that defeats our ability to verify identity. The experts aren't terrified because the technology doesn't work, they're terrified because it works too well. We've created machines that exploit human psychology, collect emotional data, replace human labor, and blur the line between artificial and real. The question isn't whether these robots will integrate into society they already have. The question is whether we'll regulate them before the consequences become irreversible. What do you think? Are experts right to be terrified? Or is this just technological progress? Drop your honest opinion in the comments and subscribe because this is only the beginning of the AI robot revolution that's changing everything.